Hello. Uh, just out and about today. Basically, I've not even gotten dressed yet. I'm, I don't wear pajamas. I wear non-traditional sleepwear. However, if I did wear pajamas, I could say I'm out in my pajamas. I'm just in, you know, t-shirt and shorts and hat because it's scary without the hat. And uh, I'm driving the old Accord today just to uh, basically keep the battery good and make sure everything works until I can get it home to my parents. I'm going to be giving it back to them. It's kind of a weird story. My dad said, no, take the car, trade it in, and you know, get some money off your new car, that kind of thing. So I took them, took it to the dealership. They drove it around, they came in, they said, we'll give you 500 bucks for your old car. However, we don't want the car. You can just keep the car and uh, we'll give you money off your new one. So I guess that was nice of the folks down there at Alexander to do that. However, now I'm stuck with two cars and I've got to figure out how to get this car back to Illinois because my parents don't want to come from Illinois to Nashville or something. Ooh, hold on one second. Let's see how long this takes. I'm at KFC because I've been hungry for KFC for forever. So I'm going to order. You want to stick around? Okay. Thank you for choosing KFC. A&W, go ahead with your order, please. Yeah, can I get the uh, three chicken strip uh, value meal with uh, mashed potatoes and coleslaw and a uh, Dr. Pepper to drink? Do you have Dr. Pepper? Yes, sir. That's six ninety nine. Please drive around. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. Um, so anyways, I'm out and about driving the car and as I was leaving the house, Whitney says, Hey Sam, where are you going? So, just kind of going out. And she goes, do you want to take a squirrel to the vet for me? What do you mean? She was like, come here, look at the squirrel. Apparently, she found in the garage a squirrel. And she's calling it a baby squirrel. It's, uh, it's the size of a small chihuahua. I'm not calling it a baby squirrel. It might be a young squirrel, but they're much smaller than that when they're babies. It's had time to grow. And it just didn't look too healthy. And she talked about, should she take it out to the woods? And because she read online that if, you know, the mother doesn't come back and get it, it won't eat. But I don't know. She left it out in the yard by a tree right now to see if it'll go anywhere. But I don't predict good things for the baby squirrel. But I think it probably crawled into the garage because it, it knew it was on its, its way out. So. She's all upset about that, but uh, anyways, that's the drama at home right now. Um, I'm really enjoying my TiVo. I got this TiVo and uh, it's so far, I was apprehensive about setting it up. I was very apprehensive about the $18 a month it costs, but so far it's doing good. It's recording Smallville, it's recording Mythbusters, it's recording Dirty Jobs. I saw that stormy weather was on AMC the other night, so I uh, had it taped that for me, so I could watch the uh, the guys at the end that dance. That's my favorite part of the movie, Stormy Weather. And uh, I need to get Stormy Weather on DVD because I enjoy Lena Horn. Mainly, I like watching the guys dance at the end because that's cool. I always wanted to have them at my wedding, but it turns out they're both in their 80s now, and uh, I don't imagine they're dancing too much anymore. So who knows when I'm getting married? So, this car, it doesn't have a working air conditioner. You can only use the air conditioner if you're on the interstate. Other than that, the car starts to heat up. And so, uh, I've got the sunroof open, and I've got my window open, but it's, uh, it's pretty hot. So, I try not to drive this thing too long, but at the same time, I need to keep the battery charged, so I take it out for an hour or so every couple of weeks. The homeowners association at the place where I live, they're uh, well, they're like any homeowners association. They like to get in people's business just because they can, and uh, they left a sticker on like four cars in the parking lot saying that they had been sitting in one spot for too long. So I moved it yesterday, and so now today I'm out driving it around. I don't know why they're so picky about people having a car that they don't drive often, but that's 
that's how people are. So, that's pretty much it. I'm about to pay for my food. So, y'all have a good day.